Hello and welcome back to the One Shed Brewery and on a very gloomy and dark and dank and miserable December 29th um, I think we're going to try and brighten things up by brewing a very simple Pils Lager. So the recipe asks for 18.48 litres, 18 and a half litres for the mash. So, as usual, I'm going to use my trusty, trusty measuring jug to put that in. So, let's go. So, now we're going to go for the temperature. So, let's do this. So, 60 minutes, 67. So, we want to turn the temperature down. We're aiming for 66. Full power, 60 minutes, start. And as we found before, it heats much more evenly and much more quickly if we put the recycling, recirculation arm in. Open the valve, turn on the pump, stand back and wait for, I don't know, 25 minutes or so. Okay, so it's up to temperature now, 66. Look at that, beautiful, steaming away. So I'm turning off the pump, close off the valve, take out the arm. So now it's time to match in. Oh, all the grains all mixed, all ready. So I normally put about half in the first go, give that a good stir, and then I put the second half in in smaller batches. Ooh. Ooh, dusty, very dusty. Okay, so let's give that a Right, recirculation arm back in. Where did I put that? Open the valve. I'll open it fully to start with. There's the water level. Oh, Mr. Wasp, massive wasp. What are you doing in the middle of December? So that's the end of the um, end of the mash stage. Have a quick look. Oh, steamed up. Look at that, crystal clear. And it sat steady at 17 litres, roughly. 17 and a bit. So it was nicely balanced. And we're ready to do the sparge. So first job is to stop the circulation. Don't need that anymore. And then we'll put this up to boil temperature. So I can turn the heater off on the sparge tank. There we go, my sparge arm running nicely. And we'll just let that run there. 14 and a half litres of sparge liquor right through there. And that will drain down slowly, filter through the grains ready for boiling. So that's the sparge complete. We've got about just under 31 litres. Lid back on here just only to help it get up to um, boiling temperature. As soon as it starts to get anywhere near the boil we have to take the lid off otherwise it will just go everywhere. So we hit the boil. Here we go it's starting to roll nicely. I put in the hop spider and I put the, the hops the first hop addition so the 60, 60 minute Tetanang hops have gone in. Um, I know they're pellets, but I have I had a one time the, the pump got blocked up with just a whole load of um, hop crud. And so even though they're pellets and most of them, most of it will kind of just turn to mush and dissolve, some of the bigger bits will stay inside that um, hop spider and hopefully I won't get another blocked pump out, which was just a nightmare to deal with. So anyway, we've got 60 minutes to go. First hops in, next update, 30 minutes. 30 minutes done, 30 minutes to go. 30 grams of SARS hops. So uh, at 15 minutes, I'm going to put the coils in and then 10 minutes, the last hops and the wall flop tablet. 15 minutes to go, last of the hops to go in. That's it, 15 minutes. I'm gonna put the wall flop tablet in as well now. That's the boil done. I've put the last of the, the hops in. So I'll go and put the, uh, the cold water on and then we can watch the cold break. First time I've done this, I've, I've, I've taken the jacket off, the insulating jacket, that neoprene thing around the outside. I mean, it's only about 10 degrees here today in the shed. I 
be a little warmer actually, maybe 12. Um, but anyway, uh, taking that off, it's such an amazing insulator. I think this will help to chill it even more quickly. So let's see what happens. Where are we at to? Where are you down to 80? I can put the pump on. Let me get the um, whirlpool going. Shouldn't take too long to get it to pump out temperature. I think 26.6. Cool enough. So I'll set this up and pump it out. So turn the pump on and open the valve. I'm not going too fast. Just pump it out quite slowly. The valve is only open about halfway. Like that. I just want it to very gently go through. 23 litres. 